What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today, Bungie released a brand new trailer for the new Scourge of the Past raid coming with the Black Armory expansion, and this trailer was composed of new Scourge of the Past raid gameplay, so let's take a look. Remember this, Guardian. When the darkness sought destruction of all things, the Black Armory persevered. Our very soul resides in that vault. It must be secured. The Black Armory is depending on you. So, a pretty interesting trailer. Focusing on the setting of this raid, we do know it takes place in or around the last city. And in this trailer, it says specifically underneath the last city, underneath the city, there is some sort of secret. So a good portion, or at least the final portion of this raid is going to be uh, going into the depths of ruins of the last city, secret tunnels, you know, the vault of the Black Army. That's what we're after for. They, uh, they specifically say that there's a vault that the enemy cannot get their hands on. So that is the premise, that is the setting. But continuing off of setting, I think there is going to be a lot of wide open areas because we see quite a lot of gameplay of Guardians using sparrows. And this whole sparrow theme is also echoed in the Vidoc raid gameplay where we see sparrows being used in the open, outside in the shadows of the buildings of the city, but also what seems to be um, underground in this crazy looking area where there's scraps and all of this stuff. So this could just be one big sparrow run from, you know, outside in the city into the depths of this raid. Um, but it could also be multiple segments where you're whipping out your sparrow. Perhaps these kind of sparrow runs in this raid have replaced the traditional jumping puzzles. Perhaps it's even an encounter where you have to get from point A to point B in a particular amount of time or you'll fail. So you actually have to be good at driving your sparrow. You can't just mess about. But regardless of all that, the fact that we're seeing so much Sparrow gameplay when it comes to this raid means that Sparrows are going to have a bigger part in this raid than pretty much any other raid in Destiny's history, and that's kind of exciting. Moving on from there, a big question related with this raid is, okay, what enemy are we fighting? What enemy faction are we going up against? Well, according to this trailer, it appears to be the Fallen. The first giveaway is that we see fallen dropships landing in the city, and if you're fighting fallen, you know, outside in the city, you're probably also fighting fallen when you go underneath the city to the vault. And we do also see what appears to be one of the Scourge of the Past raid bosses right here, and this guy is definitely fallen. It's got the forearms, and it very much reminds me of Vosik, one of the bosses from Wrath of the Machine. In fact, if you look a little closer at this boss, he does have a lot of almost SIVA-like vibes. In fact, a lot of this raid gameplay does have Wrath of the Machine vibes. You're fighting the Fallen, you're fighting you know, almost SIVA-esque Fallen, uh, well, at least that one boss. When you are using your Sparrow and going through all those areas, all of the rusted metal and stuff, again, that's very Wrath of the Machine-esque. So perhaps we'll see a little bit of a crossover. Perhaps Siva is going to make an appearance yet again with Scourge of the Past, or at least it'll be hinted at, perhaps as an Easter egg or something like that. And so guys, that's it for the video. Just wanted to bring you a quick breakdown of this new trailer. Also, Rick Cactus merch available right now only for the month of December. Live the dream, live the meme, and support the channel. Check it out in the description. Guys, again, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. And if you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.